Um, you said that 70% 70, 70 of your crew was international students. How did you go about getting in contact and gathering them up to work on your film? Um, it, 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 this, is, this, is like, this is actually, that's a good question because that's one of the things that I was hoping that someone would ask because uh, this, is, this is something that should apply to all of you guys because gathering a crew is going to be one of the hardest things you guys will have to face when it comes to your turn to do your senior films. Because a lot, of, I'd say like 90% of the reason why senior films usually, or like why some of them fail, is because they weren't able to gather a large enough crew or enough of, enough reliable people to keep working on the film. And so the film, like, the, the senior student usually ends up kind of like getting like really depressed by the end and they have to do the entire thing for themselves. And it's just like by the, by the end of it, they hate it. Um, I saw like all the all the seniors who were passing me and were making that mistake. I, I, I saw that beforehand, and I, I wanted to find a way to fix it. So, in in my experience, uh, whenever I, I dedicate my free time to someone, I, I want to respect them, and I want to know for one hundred percent certainty that my free time will not be wasted. I want them to know what they're doing. So what I did is for an entire year before even asking anyone to work for me is I spent an entire year doing nothing but flash and ponies. All I did, I did the Ballad of Mecca Pinkie Pie storybook to learn the aesthetic and to learn flash and to learn color theory. I did present prank animation to learn puppet building and uh, timing and character animation and, and flash animation and, and, and all of that stuff. And then I did, uh, I did the storyboards for the first part of Double Rainbow myself to prove that I knew how to board. Um, I, uh, I got together like a couple sound designers to help me do the music for that first animatic that we released on YouTube. I got, uh, um, I animated part of the animatic myself to prove that I could animate an animatic as well. Like I did everything myself at first. That way, when I approached someone and said, hey, hey you wanna work for me? And they were like, maybe? I went, hang on, check out all of this. And then they went, oh, oh, yes, I would. <laughs> and at the same time, this especially worked during the senior soiree. I think one of, this is a good lesson here, one of the biggest mistakes you can do during the senior soiree, uh, which, which is, uh, for those of you that don't know what the senior soiree is, it's, uh, it's every fall quarter and winter quarter, the seniors will put up booths and they'll pitch their senior film because they're trying to gather a crew, right? Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of seniors make, there's two of them, the first one is they turn away people that don't know how to do what they, what they need. So like a, a senior student might be going, I really need an in-betweener right now. And some, like a freshman will come up and go, I don't know how to do that, but I'd like to help you. And the senior goes, I, well, I, I really need someone who knows what they're doing and they'll turn them away. What? Why would you do that? We're, it's a college. We're, we're, I, I, I just, I, I never understood that. I mean, every single person that came up to my booth at the senior soiree, the first thing I said was, hey you, I can train you to do what I need you to do. Even if you join my crew and you don't get good enough to actually contribute to it, I don't care. As long as you've learned something by the end of it, then I've succeeded. Because we have 105 crew members officially credited in the film, but we've had like, I mean, our Excel sheet that we have, we've had our crew, like uh, all the people that we've worked with, it's like 200, 250, it's ridiculous. I mean, we've had a lot of, of people like pass through, learn something from us, not contribute anything, but they learned something and then they moved on to, to do something else. And that's like the first thing that you need to do. You need to get into the mindset of, if I'm gonna have a bunch of crew members follow my direction, I need to know what I'm doing and I need to be willing to take the time to teach them what I know. And hopefully, they'll be able to teach me something in return. And the second mistake that you can make at the senior soiree is you don't know how to market yourself. I think like, I, like a very general thing that I'm getting around to here is that I marketed myself. Everything that I did in, in, in Flash and Ponies, I posted online. Uh, I created a DeviantArt, I created a, a, a website, I, um, I created a YouTube account. I was constantly marketing myself and selling myself because the work isn't good enough. You've got to sell yourselves. You are a product. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner that 
life will get so much easier for you. And one of the bad things about some of the booths at the senior soiree is that they'd have like, you know, a laptop and a sign-in sheet and like, that's it. They, they didn't even bother to bring cookies. At least the cookies would draw a crowd. <laughs> so what I did for my senior soiree, and I, I have a picture of it that I could post online here now that the film is over, but I, I spent like $150 at Office Max to print out all these borders. I brought in my TV. I, I designed uh, headers and logos to go on it. I, I printed out business cards just for our website. I printed out other larger cards just for reminders on our local crew meeting and when it was gonna happen. I did, I, I, I have my sign-in sheet. I designed and printed out on Office Max so it was really colorful and like you wanted to put your name on there because it's awesome. And I, I, like, that's, that's the key. You've got to make it enticing. I mean, think of it like, uh, have, uh, uh, who here has ever been to a convention before? All right, you know how the conventions usually have, um, uh, you know, the, the sales floor where you can go to the booths and you can buy stuff? I mean, think of it. Do you ever approach the booths that look like, eh? You always approach the booths that are like, ah. Oh. And it's the exact same thing for your senior films uh, and for gathering crew members. It's, it's all about selling yourself, selling your idea, selling your product, and making sure that you take the time to prepare yourself to take on that role. It's so important that you guys meet with your academic advisors and figure out what the best electives are for you. If you're going to be doing a 2D animated senior film, why are you taking 3D rigging? Fun, fun fact, it's not required. You can get it overridden with DigiCell. Not Ex everyone knows that. Exactly, especially when you can swap it out for digital cell. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, it's important that you, I mean, maybe you're taking it because you want to learn something else and you're not really sure what you want to do yet. That's, that's okay. That's what college is for. But the sooner you figure out what you're going to do, the sooner you can start to focus your time and energy and money on that thing. For me, it was Flash. I don't know. I, I, I know a lot of guys that um, want to go Toon Boom, or they want to go Flipbook, or they want to go with 3D with Maya, or they want to go 3DS Max. It's, it's you want to figure out what you want to do first and then dedicate all of your electives towards that. And for me, like doing all of that is how I, I managed to gather, you know, 105 crew members. And honestly, towards the latter half of the film, I had to turn a lot of people down just because we had too many. <laughs> so.